Good Monday evening, August 5th, and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Here are a few of the stories we have coming up for you tonight. The Grant County Sheriff's Office is searching for the driver of a vehicle that struck and killed a 19-year-old pedestrian early Sunday morning just south of Moses Lake. Five Moses Lake people, including two children, were injured Sunday night in a two-vehicle crash outside Moses Lake. More hot summer weather is on tap for us again this week. I'll have your local forecast coming up. Stahican has been under a level three evacuation for a little over a week now as the Pioneer Fire reaches over 36,000 acres. Over the weekend, California Incident Management Team 15 assumed operations of the fire. Fire officials said the weekend's hot weather and dead dry fuels added to the difficulty of fighting the fire in that steep terrain. Sprinkler use will continue in the area and aviation resources will provide continued continual air support to slow the fire's growth. Other evacuation levels also remain the same, including Moore Point to Safety Harbor at Level 2 and Safety Harbor to Camas Creek at Level 1, with the Pioneer Fire at 12% contained. Governor Jay Inslee declared a state of emergency on Friday due to the wildfire activity throughout the state. The proclamation says the large number of wildfires in the Pacific Northwest have created a fuel shortage for firefighting activities. Inslee said motor carriers and drivers of commercial motor vehicles delivering fuel products are providing direct assistance to emergency relief. The order suspends statutory limits on driver hours of service until August 16th. The National Guard and State Guard have also been called into service to assist with firefighting efforts. About 40 members of a drug task force raided a pair of illegal marijuana growing operations outside of Freda last Thursday morning. One of the growing sites was reportedly the size of a football field. The Grant County Sheriff's Office said they later arrested the alleged leader of the operation in Yakima, where they seized more than 400 pounds of marijuana packaged for sale. Arrested for investigation of leading in organized crime and manufacturing marijuana was 38-year-old Francisco Solario Valencia. The sheriff's office said even though marijuana is legal in Washington, the illegal operations are dangerous and violent. Last year, two people were shot at one of the sites raided Thursday, the sheriff's office said. During the raid at one of the connecting properties, officers said four of the five employees fled and had to be chased down. At the other site, two employees were detained. Involved in the task force raid were the Grant County Sheriff's Office, Moses Lake Police, Police Department, the Adams County Sheriff's Office, and the Washington State Patrol. The Grant County Sheriff's Office is searching for the driver of a vehicle that struck and killed a 19-year-old pedestrian early Sunday morning just south of Moses Lake. The man killed has been identified as Adrian Beza Escobedo of Moses Lake. Authorities say Escobedo was hit by a southbound vehicle on Road M Southeast sometime in the early morning hours Sunday. His body was discovered about 6 a.m. The Sheriff's Office said he was most likely hit by a passenger car that suffered right front end damage before leaving the scene. When we come back, the North Cascades Highway was closed again Sunday morning as the Easy Fire burned dangerously close to that roadway and improvement projects along the Apple Capital Loop Trail are causing a temporary detour this week in Wenatchee. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. There's no place like home because home is where we're totally comfortable. It's where we can be ourselves and let our guards down. It's where we make memories and we're always imagining new ways to keep it totally comfortable. Carrier, total comfort, totally happy. Turn to the experts, Carrier and Alpine Air. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa, located on South Wenatchee Ave, has the largest selection of spas and swim spas in town. Stay cool this summer in an artesian swim spa and use it all year long. We enjoy helping families reconnect one spa at a time. 
Hot tubs are proven to improve sleep and decrease arthritis pain. Our passion is water, so please bring us a water sample and we will help you diagnose your pool or spa water for free. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa, your pool and spa experts. Hi, I'm Mike Steele, and I've been honored to serve you as our state representative for District 12 for the last eight years. With experience in several leadership roles in civic organizations, as well as being a lifelong resident, I've championed projects that have made a difference in our community. I plan to continue the progress we've made together. Re-elect Mike Steele, your voice in Olympia. Together, we can achieve more. Visit votemikesteele.com, paid for by the citizens to elect Mike Steele. If you live in Douglas County, this message is for you. Hi, I'm Randy Agnew, the current mayor of Rock Island, and I'm running for Douglas County Commissioner, District 2. I believe the government is supposed to serve the people, and as an elected official, it is my job to make sure that it does. I have a proven track record doing exactly that as the mayor of Rock Island over the last eight years, and successfully serving on many boards. A vote for me will bring that same leadership and commitment to all of Douglas County. It's paid for by Douglas County First. Five Moses Lake people, including two children, were injured Sunday night in a two-vehicle crash outside Moses Lake. The Washington State Patrol says 64-year-old John P. Gibson was driving a 2012 Toyota RAV4 on Potato Frontage Road when he failed to stop at the intersection with Highway 17 and crashed into the driver's side of a 2019 Ford Explorer. The driver of that Explorer, 54-year-old Manuel Ponce, and three passengers were injured, including 56-year-old Aurora Ponce, an 8-year-old boy, and an 11 or 13-year-old girl. All four and Gibson, who was not wearing a seat belt, were transported to Good Samaritan Hospital in Moses Lake with undisclosed injuries. The accident happened about 6.45 p.m., a half mile south of Moses Lake. The North Cascades Highway was closed again Sunday morning as the Easy Fire burned dangerously close to the roadway. The incident management team on the fire said five trees fell across Highway 20 on Sunday as wind gusts proved challenging for firefighting efforts. Travis Ederer, the operations section chief for Team 15, said today that the fire now has burned more than 1,000 acres in steep terrain, but crews have been able to keep it from jumping the highway. The fire has been burning since June 17th when it was ignited by lightning. There is no estimate for when the highway will reopen. Improvement projects along the Apple Capital Loop Trail are causing a temporary detour this week in Wenatchee. In early June, Chelan County PUD announced plans to make substantial improvements to multiple local parks, including the installation of an Apple-themed playground. Beginning today and continuing through Wednesday, the PUD will detour the section of the Loop Trail just north of the Boat Launch parking lot near Pibus Public Market up to the pedestrian bridge on 5th Street. The detour will use the city sidewalk to the west along Worthen Street and Riverside Drive, north to the 5th Street Roundabout before rejoining the trail. Other sections of the Loop Trail will close periodically soon. You can find a full schedule of the planned periodic closures in the article on our website. Coming up next, Olympian and former Kashmir basketball star Haley Van Lith at her hometown of Wenatchee cheering for this weekend. We'll have more in tonight's feature story. Our hot summer weather continues through the week with above normal temperatures and sunny skies. I'll have all the details coming up in your full local weather forecast. That and much more still to come tonight. Please stay with us. The Lake Chelan Chamber of Commerce presents Wonders of Wooden Avenue. Steelhead Cider offers 20 taps with cider, beer, and wine, featuring views of the lake, great music, and fantastic flights. Find it on Wooden Ave behind the bookstore in downtown Chelan. Kelly's Classic Ace Hardware Store. From the minute you walk through the door, you'll feel the difference. Kelly's revives the days of personal service lost in the big box stores of today. Kelly's Ace Hardware in Classic Downtown Chelan. Wonders of Wooden Avenue, North Central Washington's premier shopping district. Lifeline Ambulance has partnered with Wenatchee Valley Tech to provide EMT certification training within the high school. This opens up career opportunities in EMS, fire, and other medical fields and gives these students a leg up when entering the workforce. 
Students at Wenatchee Valley Tech, through our partnership with Lifeline Ambulance, can now earn their National Registry EMT certification. I'm Keith Gaynor, running to be your next 12th District State Senator. It has been a privilege to serve you the past six years in the House of Representatives. I believe public safety is a critical issue that affects all of Washington. This should be one of our highest priorities. Washington families are struggling. Housing, food, and gas prices are severely affecting our budgets. We need to find better ways to support our families. Together, we can build a better Washington. I want you to know where I stand on abortion. As governor, I will not change Washington law on this issue because I do not believe any politician, regardless of personal belief, has the right to make that decision for any woman. My opponent, Bob Ferguson, is trying to spread fear by saying things that I don't believe and will not do. In tonight's feature story, Olympian and former Kashmir basketball star Haley Van Lith at her hometown of Wenatchee cheering for this weekend. While Van Lith and the women's Olympic three-on-three -three basketball team took on China on Saturday, about 70 people gathered inside Liberty Cinema to watch her play. NCW Life News heard from the event organizer on how it all came together. One of uh, Haley's old teachers at Kashmir, Levi Hyen, and he's the men's head basketball coach, and I uh, reached out to the Van Lith family and we asked if we could put a watch party together. And then it was kind of organic from there. We thought, where can we have this where a lot of people can come? The movie theater is the perfect place for that. We're here at the Liberty Theater today in downtown Wenatchee. And so it was just one of those things that kind of snowballed into um, this big free community event today. She first came on my radar when she was probably around 12 years old. My husband and I were watching a basketball game at um, the, actually the Wenatchee High School and my husband pointed her out and was like, that girl's gonna be a star. We've known Haley just through the basketball network forever. Like I said, my husband is a coach and then my father-in-law is a Hall of Fame uh, basketball coach as well. So basketball is kind of in our nature. So that's how we first learned of Haley. But then we've become really good friends with uh, her parents actually built our house. They live in our neighborhood. They're wonderful people. Her aunts are here in town also. They're amazing. So uh, we've just known her family for quite some time and have kind of got to watch this incredible journey. And just to be a part of it is, um, it's really humbling. When Haley was in high school, the women's team became sort of um, the bigger show that people wanted to come watch. And so locally, we saw it rise. And then nationally lately, with Caitlin Clark and the women's rugby team in the Olympics, you've just seen this big celebration. And really, Haley was at the forefront of that. She's so dynamic. She's got this confidence that's infectious. And that's really what women's sports is about. It's about competition. It's about shining in our roles as females. And she's been kind of leading that charge, especially locally. You know, I don't have kids myself, but my friends' children that are, that are local are, are going to be here today. And they are, these little girls are so excited. They line up for her autograph. If you go to watch a college game of hers, the stands are packed after a game, just lined up for people to get her autograph. So she's obviously making a big impact on uh, girls and boys here locally and on a national level. Haley represents hard work and perseverance. She has really, really worked hard to be in this position. She's had this goal since she was a little girl and to watch her success and her achieve all of these goals that she set her mind to is just so inspiring. By the way, Eric Granstrom will have highlights and results of the U.S. versus Canada bronze medal game today. That's coming up in tonight's sports. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Didn't get quite as hot, at least here in Wenatchee, as we thought it might, because I think we had a little bit more haze than a lot of folks on Saturday. Yesterday, about what we thought, but Saturday, a little cooler than we thought it would get. We thought we might be about 104, 105. It only got to about, well, only about 98 degrees on Saturday, but I was in OMAC Saturday, and OMAC tied a record 
record high of 104 degrees. Boy, it was hot up in Okanagan County. Plenty warm here today as well. Our unofficial high temperature at 94 today. 89 now is our normal high. So if you remember, 90 has been our normal. So both our high and our normal lows have gone down a degree just since Friday. So now we're on that slow trek for our temperatures to kind of go a little bit lower over the next month or two. 89, as we mentioned, normal. 63, our normal low. 102, our record high. That was in 1997. And our record low set in 1969 of 45 degrees. Sunrise this morning now is at 545 and sunset before 830 at 828. All right, your temperatures for Tuesday, and they will be a lot like today. Still plenty warm out there. 95 for Moses Lake, Afreda, and Quincy. A little cooler for Ellensburg at 93. And then a lot of us will be at 94 from Wenatchee into Eniat up into Chelan. Of course, OMAC a little bit warmer at 95, but we're all going to see those 90s. Lake Wenatchee 90, Leavenworth 92, and our friends in Kashmir, you will see a high tomorrow of 93 degrees. So it's still summer and it's still August, and we're going to stay this way for a while. Tonight, clear skies, high pressure still off our Pacific coast, and that's really keeping us clear out there. Lows tonight into the upper 60s. So it's going to be nice and mild once again. Maybe some afternoon breezes tomorrow. Here's a little trough of low pressure, and that high pressure to our west could kick up those winds in the afternoon. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow, and if I forget, I'm going to do it today. Happy birthday, Michelle. High temperatures tomorrow, mid 90s. For Wednesday, mostly sunny. We're going to continue to be warm. High temperatures again in the low to mid 90s. A lot of that desert southwest air still moving up north, even though that trough is now digging into our east for Thursday. Mostly sunny skies going to continue with about the same temperatures that we've been seeing low to mid 90s for Thursday. So one thing about it, uh, we're not talking triple digits anymore. Partly cloudy on Friday, maybe even a chance of some scattered thunderstorms, especially along the Cascades and up into Okanagan County on Friday. That'll cool us back just a little into the low 90s, but keep your eye on the sky on Friday mostly sunny Saturday. Some of those showers will still hang around in the northern part of the state, but it's still going to be warm all over eastern and central Washington with high temperatures in the low 90s. Ending our forecast on Sunday, sunny skies again, steady as she goes. Warm temperatures, highs a little above normal into those lower 90s. All right, your seven-day forecast, 68 overnight tonight, 94, maybe some breezy winds tomorrow afternoon. We're talking about 10 to 20 miles an hour. 94 the high. 93 on both Wednesday and Thursday. Mostly sunny both days. Going to be nice. And then partly cloudy with just a slight chance for isolated thunderstorms on Friday at 92. And then back to the sunshine for this weekend. Saturday and Sunday's temperatures into the low 90s. And that's a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Are you tired of getting less for your money? At Abby's, our founders placed over 100 slices of pepperoni on a giant pizza. And 60 years later, they haven't changed a thing. Order real value at abbeys.com. Right now, fresh and juicy tomatoes are in season. That's why Abby's is celebrating summer with a special pizza covered edge to edge with beef and Canadian bacon. And if you want it covered with fresh tomatoes, they'll do that too. Enjoy Abby's August special pizza at a very special price. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Continental Surf Cup at Lakeside Surf. Oh my God.
Happy Monday, Haley Van Lith can now hang an Olympic bronze medal in her trophy case. Van Lith and Team USA edge Canada for the bronze medal today in Paris after narrowly falling to Spain 18-16 in overtime in the semifinals. Haley scored a team high six points as the U.S. beat Canada 16-13. Haley scored a total of 49 points in 10 games during the Olympics and had 28 rebounds. That despite being one of the shortest and youngest players in the game. Now, despite facing mostly professionals as the collegian on Team USA, Van Lith finished as the sixth ranked player in value for the entire tournament. Congratulations. Haley Van Lith. Well, the Mariners came up short Sunday in an attempt to sweep Philadelphia. The Phillies exploded for five runs in the eighth inning to put Seattle away 6-0. Logan Gilbert pitched another stellar outing, allowing just one run on four hits with seven strikeouts through six. The bullpen, however, ruined it in the eighth. That uh -oh. ball's hit well. Out to right center field. Rally's going back toward the 380 side. Gone! Just over the wall. Bryson stopped with the second solo home run of the day for the Phils. Two nothing Phillies here in the eighth inning. Oh, fly ball out to right field pretty well hit. Rayleigh's going back toward the wall. It's gone. It's a three hit day for Harper. And that'll make everybody feel better. A two run home run. And the Phillies are on top four nothing. Mm. Oh. Alec Bohm out to left field. Arosa Rain is going back. He's just going to watch. That one's gone. Back to back. Harper and Bohm. Solo home run. Five nothing Phillies. There's a line drive out to right center field. That'll be in for a base hit. Marshall speed home. RBI single for Real Muto. Phils are doing some damage here in the eighth inning. Seattle has an off day today before hosting Detroit tomorrow at 640. That'll be on Ruth Sports Northwest. Mariners emerged from the weekend with a one-game lead over Houston in the American League West. The Astros fell to Tampa Bay Sunday 1-0. Texas is 5.5 back after a 7-2 loss to Boston. Dodgers edged Oakland yesterday by a final of 3-2. The Wenatchee Apple Sox won the rubber match of a three-game set with uh, Nanaimo on Sunday. Wenatchee came back to top the Night Owl 6-3 behind the pitching of Quincy Vassar and the hitting of Cam Hoyland. A ball and two strikes to Evan Cloyd. The pitch from Boyce. Off speed, swung on and lifted out to left field. Long run back for Hanta. He won't get to it. Get out of town. Evan Cloyd, a two-run shot in the bottom of the first inning. And Wenatchee leads 2 to nothing early on. A home run to left field. It travels 347 feet and leaves the bat at 96 miles per hour. The Colossus of Cloyd strikes again. And the Apple Sox attack first, leading 2 to nothing early on. Now the 1 2. Castagnola takes off. Hit and run. Hit down the right field line. A fair ball heading toward the wall. Fitz will round first and head to second. He's in there with an RBI double. The throw gets away from the second baseman. He jogged. And in to score comes Castagnola. Jonathan Fitz delivers with an RBI double. And it's 4 0 Apple Sox. He shows bunt. Puts it down. First base side. In from third. Castagnola scores a run of insurance as Ahmed flips the first base and gets the out there. A successful safety squeeze bunt put down by Jake Larson. And Bonacci now adds another run to make this a 5-3 lead. Here's the 2-0. Swing the ball, rifle, first base side, and pass the glove of Waters into right field. Freeberg around first. Fitz will score from second. An RBI double to add to the Apple Sox lead. 6-3 Sox here in the eighth inning. Another 0-2 from Andrew Monson, trying to earn his second save of the summer. In there for Cole, strike three. Wenatchee wins it, a 6-3 triumph. They are 34-17, and, and should they reach it, they have locked up home field advantage for the North Division Championship game. 
Aiden Doherty went two for four and scored two runs for Wenatchee. Apple Sox off tonight. They'll wrap up their regular season in Bend with three games this week, beginning tomorrow at 635. You can listen for Joel's call on Sunny FM. Well, checking the scoreboard, Bellingham salvaged the final game of a three-game set with Victoria yesterday, 3-2. to two. Edmonton edged Port Angeles 5-4. Kelowna got by Kamloops 7-4. Richfield won a high-scoring affair against Springfield 16-12. Corvallis beat Bend 9-6. Portland down Yakima Valley. 11 to 4. Walla Walla got the better of Kellett 7 to 2. Wenatchee is one win away from securing the second half title in the WCL North Division. There are two games ahead of Victoria, Bellingham, and Nanaimo. Ridgefield and Portland continue to trade blows for the West Coast League South title with the Raptors leading the Pickles by a half game heading into the final week. Corvallis and Wenatchee already in the playoffs by virtue of their first half wins. Well, temperatures didn't reach the heights feared Saturday, but the racing was still plenty hot at Wenatchee Valley Super Oval. Well, Wenatchee's Cody Vickery celebrated Christmas in August by winning the main event in the Rockstar Energy B Mods. Colby Holiday was second, followed by Donovan Stevens. Another weekend of racing meant another main event win for Jared Ingram in the Plum Perfect Roadrunner classification. The Wenatchee driver finished in front of East Wenatchee's Jason Walker and monitors Dale Winterberg. Kicks, uh, Kingston's uh, Cameron Stark took the checkered flag in the AMCA Bandit Dwarf Car main event. Kyle Pope of Winchester, Oregon took second, followed by fellow Oregonian Bryson Smith. Caleb Gill collected another main event win in the B&T Towing Youth Roadrunner event. Uh, Benton City's Caleb Keck was second, followed by Wenatchee's Kellen Ingram. They're back at it again at the quarter mile asphalt this Saturday with the Columbia River Throwdown featuring racing includes the Jerry's Auto Supply Pro Late Models, Dick's Hitting and Air Conditioning Thunder Cars, Knutes and General Contracting Bandolero, Tri-State Mini Stock Tour and the Angels Bail Bond Legends. Gates open at 4 o'clock, racing at 6. That's a look at Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Have a happy Monday. And that will do it for our newscast tonight. For more news from around North Central Washington, you can find us at ncwlife.com, on our social media channels, or on our mobile app for iPhone and Android. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. Email us at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks so much for being with us and have a great night. Want to stay up to date on the latest news in the area? Tired of paying for your news? Download the NCW Life app now. No subscriptions necessary. Get news, 
weather, sports, and more, live as it happens. Available for iPhone and Android in the App Store. Local news at your fingertips. Don't miss the stories that matter to you. Stay connected. Download the NCW Life app now.